Hi everyone! The Ferrari 250 GTO is one of the most important cars in Ferrari's history, and it has made headlines numerous times in automotive history. Originally, it was designed to compete in the Group 3 GT racing. The 250 GTO has competed in three GT races alongside the Shelby Cobra, Jaguar E-Type, and the Aston Martin DP214. What's most impressive is that the GTO is still operating after six decades and has become a collector's item. Numerous qualities have distinguished this renowned car and these characteristics make it the most expensive car ever sold. What are these qualities? Is it built of diamonds? Let's get to the bottom of it. Today, we are discussing what makes the Ferrari 250 GTO the most expensive new car ever sold. Number one is amazing, so kindly stay tuned until the end of the video. Today, the 250 GTO is the most expensive automobile ever sold publicly. It has broken records several times as the most expensive car ever sold and is still going strong today. The Ferrari 250 is more than just a classic. It has a long history, excellent features, fans, and so on to back up its success. There are so many peculiarities that everyone forgets about the GTO that bought this classic to renown. Let's drive straight into it. Number 8. It's got a rich history. Ferrari built the Ferrari 250 GTO from 1962 to 1964. The car was built specifically for homologation into the FIA's Group 3 Grand Touring Car category. Hence, it was equipped with Ferrari's Typo 168-62 Colombo V12 engine. Only 36 250 GTOs were made between 1962 and 1964 with 33 built with the 1962 to 1963 bodywork and 3 built with the 1964 bodywork identical to the Ferrari 250 LM. Also, 4 prior cars from 1962 to 1963 were retrofitted with the Series 2 bodies in 1964. When the new 250 GTO was sold in the United States for $18,000, Enzo Ferrari and his North American dealer Luigi Genetti personally approved the customer. Since then, this model has been popular among car collectors and sales have set price records. Number 7. Its design and development speaks for itself. Giotto Bizzarini, the 250 GTO's chief designer, created the vehicle. Although Bizzarini is wildly regarded as the designer of the 250 GTO, he and several of Ferrari's other engineers were fired in 1962 due to a disagreement with Enzo Ferrari one of the car industry's most powerful figures. The GTO was overseen by Muaro Forgheri, a new engineer who collaborated with Scaglietti to build the car's exterior. The vehicle is based on the 250 GT SWB model, but with a slightly changed frame structure and geometry to conserve weight, boost strength, and reduce chassis height. The dry light sumps aluminum frame with six Weber 38 DCN carburetors produce around 300 horsepower. The transmission is a modern five-speed Porsche synchronizer transmission. Bizzarini devoted everything to the design of the car to make it fast and elegant. Number six, it has an unrivaled legacy. After all these years, Ferrari remains the undisputed king of vehicle design. Their creation, the Ferrari 250 GTO, is not letting competitors get close. Ferrari is the world's most recognized brand and its fame stems from the production of some of the world's most eccentric and technically outstanding vehicles. The famed Ferrari 250 GTO, however, is possibly the best representation of all Ferrari advances. It outperformed all expectations and has cemented its place as an automobile classic, becoming one of the most collectible and sought after vehicles on the planet. Number 5. It has a simple and aerodynamic body. This Ferrari is designed both for beauty and speed. 
and Bizzarini focused his design work on the car's aerodynamics to increase peak speed and stability. Wind tunnel experiments at the University of Pisa, as well as road and track testings of various prototypes, served as the foundation for the body's construction. The finished aluminum hull includes a long, low bow, a small air intake, and a protruding bow air inlet with a removable cover. The underside of the vehicle is also protected. The aerodynamic design of the 250 GTO represents a significant technological advancement over the previous Ferrari GT. Number 4. It has a race car interior. Unlike all previous pricey Ferraris, the interior of the Ferrari 250 GTO is straightforward and uncomplicated, with no fancy knobs or switches for the electronics. On the dashboard, it has only a rudimentary speedometer. However, there was a wonderful gated metal shifter that is still legendary today. Leather was also used in certain areas of the car, such as the seats. Ferrari, on the other hand, purposely designed the 250 GTO to be a pure racetrack performance car. Number 3. Trims and variants are also available. Throughout racing history, each car's manual production, modifications, and care have resulted in a noticeable and real difference from all 250 GTOs ever produced. Ferrari commissioned Mauro Forgheri and Mike Parks to redesign the 250 GTO body in 1964. The result was known as the 64 GTO, or the Series 2. Three new cars were built to 1964 specifications, and four older 250 GTOs were upgraded. Because the FIA chose not to sanction the 250 LM for GT class racing in 1964, this modification would allow the GTO to compete for another year. Number 2. It contains a powerful V12 engine beneath its hood. Although the entire structure of the car was completely redesigned for the engine, Ferrari chose to use the engine that had already proven its worth in the 250 Testa Rosa. An alloy 3.0 liter 2,953 cc's V12 engine. The engine used dry sump lubrication and was outfitted with six Weber 38 DCN twin choke carburetors. The massive V12 developed 300 horsepower at 7,500 RPM and 294 nanometers, 217 pounds per foot of torque at 5,500 RPM with this configuration. The V12 will remain a Ferrari trademark as the business is determined to keep it, although many are moving towards zero emission vehicles. This power is sent to the rear axle via a propeller shaft and is managed by a 5-speed all-synchro mesh manual transmission. Now here is the most significant fact why this amazing car stands to be the most expensive ever. Be sure to smash that subscribe button for your chance to win our monthly shoutout giveaway. Just comment down below, I subbed, and you'll be entered in our giveaway. Number 1 timeline of the Ferrari 250 GTO's record-breaking price. Since it left production, the price of the GTO has been on a roller coaster ride. Starting at four figures, the GTO's value skyrocketed in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Following the early 90s car market crash, the GTO's price rose to its current level. The Ferrari 250 GTO has broken numerous records for the most expensive automobile ever sold at an auction or privately. The previous record for the most expensive car ever was held by the $35 million Ferrari 250 GTO and has been broken by another 250 GTO. The car, a 1963 example owned by Greenwich, Connecticut collector Paul Papillardo, sold for $52 million to an unnamed buyer, according to the three specialized traders who spoke with Bloomberg. However, on August 25, 2018, 
RM Sotheby's sold a Ferrari 250 GTO chassis 3413 GT for 48 million 405,000, setting a new record for the most expensive car ever sold at a public auction. The 250 GTO is still one of the most sought after automobiles in the collector car industry since just 39 were built for homologation purposes. What car was your favorite out of the bunch? Let us know in the comments section down below and be sure to check out our video on the most expensive supercars. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time.